Am I the asshole for telling my husband he knew what he was signing up for before he married me? I feel like this is stupid already. Like, I don't say you have to change to be in a happy relationship, but I'm saying that like, unless you two were a perfect match in every way, shape or form, no matter what, when there's going to be conflict, there's going to be, everybody will have to like put some water in its wine. It's just to like be able to make the relationship work. You cannot say, I'm going to stay exactly as I am and you're going to stay exactly as I am. And even if we are like having some problem, we're going to stay like this. Let's read to see where this is going. My husband, 38 and I, 36, I've recently got into a conflict over my closeness to my best friend, 36 female. I've been friend with Anna since we were in the kindergarten and we even went to the same college. After college, we moved into a, uh, a nice one bedroom apartment together to save money. As we grew and got our funds together, we invested in a three bedroom and two bath house that we renovated together. We have lived there together for five years now. Okay, so basically like in Canada, in Canada, they would be considered to be like conjoined. Okay, this relationship legally they are one arminage like they are they are one household it's, i guess great and sad in the same way i like it four years ago i met my husband and we instant instantly clicked after a few weeks he met anna and over the two years we dated we all hung out several times together good he proposed and ended up talking about our future rob big name wanted us to move together but I didn't want to move out of my house into an apartment and he couldn't afford to make the investment in a house together. That's, I, I mean, I feel like Rob is having a pretty good deal here if he's living with her. I may confuse some stuff. Are people, I'm gonna ask a weird question. I know like I'm in, I, I live in 2023. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is not their case. Are people proposing to each other before they even live together in the same apartment or in the same house is this a thing that happens nowadays feels super super weird um i talked to anna and rob moved okay now now he moves he moved with them that's good after we got married he talked to me about how my friendship with anna made him deeply uncomfortable i'm very close with anna and there are no filter when we talk together we have sleepovers sometimes and go out on little dates, but that's how we've always been. Rob has never previously voiced discomfort with how we are despite knowing us for four years. I think he only is doing this because I recently told him how Anna confessed her love for me when we first bought the house together. I got angry when he said this and told, and told him this is what he signed up for and if he had problem with it, then he should have told me earlier like years ago i love my husband deeply but i'm not willing to get rid of anna just because he's insecure i have been distant for a few days and i feel like i shouldn't have been blunt but it's the truth i don't know what to say and i'm starting to feel bad i think i might be the asshole due to how he's reacting that's a complicated situation guys If there was no love in between them, that would be super simple. At the moment, what I understand is that Anna, like, had some love for her. It is not that kind of love that Opie has for Hannah. But Opie really care for Hannah and really loves Anna, just not, like, as a mate thing. Um, then there's the husband, which cannot offer something that is better than what she gets with Anna, as in like comfort of living, that is trying to nuke that relationship because he feels, I don't know, I will guess we can buy it. Like, I feel, okay, here's the thing again. Every time we read a, a Am I the Asshole, you gotta understand that the story is told from the person that is writing it. So, there is some things that Opie is leaving out for us to believe that she's not that bad. Like, most often than not. Clearly here, Bob, Rob, 
Rob is a little insecure about the situation. That's that is noticeable. I just I, I'm just not sure if there's some stuff that is left out that would make OP come out in a less good light. If Rob has really some good reason out of just being an insecure uh, man in that situation, if Rob really has good reason to feel this discomfort, it should be said. So, with just the information that it's given here, I would say not the asshole. If Rob wants to be able to, like, rubber away from that housing situation, he gotta be able to provide for what she's expecting, not just for a small apartment. If he can't, well, take some decision that will make you able to do it. At the moment, you're living in her house, like, both their house. They are probably, like, if you were in, in Quebec, Man, this would be a super weird rela re uh, situation. I don't know how fiscally this thing would be, like, ruled out. Unless they split... No, they didn't split the house in two. This is like a three-bedroom. Two-bath house. Like, they might have split it. They might have split it, but, like... It's not, it's not clarified. So, legally, she's been living with Anna. She's been conjoined with Anna... Fiscally, probably. And now she's married to someone which has just lately been in the, the household. It's weird. Are you leading two people on? Aww. Yep. I am... Um... People are like going for you're the asshole, most of them. For the part where she, st she still lives with Anna, and I get what they're saying there. Uh, they're just like, you have a deep commitment with her, but honestly, marrying your now husband was kind of a low blow. It's as if she wanted to keep... It's as if she wanted to keep both in her life. Like... I guess that's the feel we had earlier. She's not de facto spouse with, <laughs> with Anna. Yeah, but you wouldn't be spouse. You would be, um... There's a word for conjoint fit in English as well. I just don't remember the word. De facto spouse. Yeah, but like, still. I, as I said earlier, I agree with the fact that like, there's stuff that it's weird here, but I feel like the weird stuff is not shown in the commentary that we get here. I feel like she made some weird stuff to make Rob rea react like this. But with the only part we see here, Rob just seems to be insecure overall. I don't know. Like... I... No. I... Yeah, there's nothing perfect here. Unless there was a fling on the girl's part, there's no reason for insecurity. I totally agree with you, like... But... She would not... Like, she did not write it. She did not write that it, it never happened, but she also did not write that it did happen. Do you know what I mean? Like, this information kind of got left out of the whole thing the whole time. So... I feel like it's lacks clarity. It lacks. It lacks on it. No, maybe it. Ma it lacks clarity. It, it lacks detail. We. We kind of need an edit at the end of it to explain the second part, which is. Eh. I think I'm reading into it. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I can. I can do that. I can push it too far. Uh, 